the song goes ba ba da ba da ba da 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 ba da. Benjamin Rosloff expresses himself with music, but when he's not playing the cello, he's making films. My father bought me my first camera when I was 14 years old. My biggest dream is to be a filmmaker, like a producer or a director. Benjamin has already shown his films at festivals around the world. The first film that I did, which was a documentary short, was called Can I Call You? It's about me trying to go on a relationship with someone who's not disabled. Can I call you? Yes. <laughs> ben is indeed a remarkable young man who has been living with autism from birth. He's a 23-year-old living in New York with his parents. Ben is not alone. One percent of the world's population, over 70 million people, is living with autism. Some would refuse to let autistic people go to regular schools, and parents fight about that. That's why it's important to see like videos about their lives. Like, even though they're disabled, there's things that they can do. Benjamin has just landed a job as an intern at New York City's mayor's office for people with disabilities. Ben and his supervisor, Jonathan Novick, produce films to highlight people with disabilities who work for the municipality. Ben, Ben's a lot of things. Ben is positive. Ben is friendly. He brings this, this very high level of energy and enthusiasm into his work. I work here as cameraman and editor. I travel with Jonathan Novick, and together we meet like people with different disabilities and like I do the recording on camera while Jonathan Novick does the interview. Randy Washington, who's working with Ben, helps keep him focused and on track. Watching films is one of Ben's favorite things in life, and Randy is really impressed with Ben's encyclopedic knowledge. It's amazing the, the stuff he remembers from the movies, and he, he's hardworking when given a task, wants to complete that task. So I guess it would be he's a perfectionist. Recently, Ben contacted the United Nations and was invited to visit the organization. Today, he's going to interview the Secretary General, Ban Ki-moon. Ben could have never imagined that one day he would have the opportunity to discuss with the UN Secretary General the pressing issues that affect billions of people worldwide. Last December in Paris, the world leaders came and showed their commitment to keep global temperature rise below 2 degrees, if possible 1.5 degrees. Under this agreement, we can cut emissions. Among the questions Ben asked, one was very close to his heart. Why is autism an issue for the United Nations? Some societies discriminate on or shun uh, people with autism. This is a terrible uh, violation of uh, human rights. The United Nations stands with all people with autism. Benjamin's resolve to work and produce films is an example to the millions of people with disabilities worldwide. He knows that anything is possible when you dream, and if you work hard, your dreams can come true. This report was produced by Michael Wopatniuk and Flaminia Bondi for the United Nations.